I encountered a silhouette one night. What happened was I was sleeping and suddenly woke up from a pretty weird dream. As soon as I opened my eyes, I saw a black silhouette standing in the balcony from the window. The thing is, all my family used to share the same room for sleeping. Sometimes my mom would wander outside on the balcony if she couldn't sleep. However, this night was different. As soon as I turned back, I saw my mom was sleeping at her place, and so was everyone else. Then I was like, if everyone's here sleeping, what the heck was that? I had zero courage to look back to the window and just slept an hour over thinking about it. After a few hours, I woke up and there was nobody at all. Then I got out of my bed and tried to evaluate if it was the curtains causing the illusion. But the place that the entity was standing, perfectly centered to the window, there was no way the curtain would have caused this illusion. To this day, I can't get it out of my mind. And this clip reminded me how real that thing was. And this was no sleep paralysis for sure, as I could move and had full control over my body. This place is not known to be haunted, nor are there any deaths associated with it, as far as I know. It's open to the public and maintained, so not an oozy, cold, and dark ruin. I was standing in a hallway outside of a telephony museum room. My friends were still poking around inside the Cold War bunker. I was looking at the blueprint map of the facility in the wall opposite the door to the room with a fluorescent light above me that had just went out. None of the many other lights in the corridor were out. Every one of them were working fine. I chalked that down to a random failure. A few moments later, most of my friends exited the museum, but one stopped at the doorway noticing a hole in the floor beside the door and suggest I come and take a look. So I re-entered the room to investigate it with them. The door closed behind me, and we were all alone. Just as we were about to peer down the hole, a woman's scream came from behind us in a corner of the room that was filled with old 50s to 60s technology and floor-to-ceiling high cabinets full of wires. Nowhere for anyone to hide. All fully lit, so no dark spaces. We both heard the scream. Both looked around towards the source at that same time. Now there was a video running on a TV explaining the uses of the tech in the room. A typical monotone and structural archive type deal. But I cannot see why they'd have a random scream in a portion of the video that was explaining how the telephones worked. In other rooms they do show films of old public information reels. There is some screaming in those but you can't hear them from outside their designated areas. And certainly not in the room we were in. I've been in the bunker twice before. Never heard this scream. Nor had a light turn off above me. This did freak us out a bit. The rest of the group didn't really think much of it as we explained what I just experienced. And the friend that was with me does not entertain any notion of ghost or spirits etc. I tried looking this up online, but I cannot find any related articles. I have dreams where the deceased communicate with me and my roommate has the deceased actually communicating with her through dreams and in her head. We both are very sensitive to that type of stuff. I keep seeing a shadow figure walk across our dining room. This went on for about three weeks. I kept thinking I was crazy or hallucinating. The last time I was so prevalent that I asked my roommate, have you been having any weird things happening at the house? 
She smiled and asked, asked, what? She had been seeing the same thing as me, without me telling her anything about what I'd been seeing, and also felt she was maybe going crazy. We both felt like it was a man, and you could see a full body shadow of him. Now that we've talked about it, neither of us have seen it since. Why would that be? This isn't our first paranormal experiences. This is the first time something stopped showing itself once we talked about it. Do they just want to be known? Is there a reason behind it? I had some really weird things happen today that I cannot explain. My girlfriend and I were playing with our kids in the living room. They were playing with dress-up clothes and costume jewelry. Her son had a pair of earrings and started walking around with them in his hands, and he dropped it once. My girlfriend said that it fell in slow motion, then just vanished without making a sound. We spent ten minutes looking all over the house for it, but couldn't find it. It eventually showed up in plain sight a few feet away from where it originally fell. Her son was holding the other earring the whole time, and my daughter never had either of them at any point. We have no idea how it got there. Then later in the day, my girlfriend took her son upstairs for a bath. We have an electric toothbrush cleaner that's mounted to the mirror. Everyone else was either on the back porch or on the first floor when she texts me that the toothbrush cleaner turned on by itself. None of this kind of activity started happening until today. Last week, I did bring in a box with some of my memories and keepsakes, including things that belong to my grandfather who died about five years ago. I have one of his hats, a locket with his picture, and a necklace containing some of his ashes. My grandpa was a very friendly man and loved to play tricks and jokes on people. I was also his favorite grandchild. Was this a glitch in the Matrix or my grandfather just saying hello from the other side? Hills and Hollows is a scout camp in Benton, Texas. It's next to Rose Lawn Cemetery, which always made a great setup for campfire stories. I was at a camp out and we decided to play capture the flag at night. I was an older scout, so I decided to wear all of my dark clothes and creep around to the other side by going deep into the forest and circling around to the other side. I walked down a hill I was about to begin my descent into the pitch black third degree forest. I heard a footstep close to me, so I jumped into a bush to hide. I was completely covered with green and no one could see me. I heard steps around me like people walking from the forest. I was keeping my head down, stay hidden. I heard more footsteps. They were around me now. I looked up and said, okay, you got me. Then I looked around and that's when I realized no one was there. It was just me. That's when I said, that's it, and ran up the hill and got out of there really fast. Edit. Some people have proposed that it could have been an animal of some sort. Of all the guesses, no one has come up with a possible natural answer to this story. In my experience, there is an animal that I could have heard. I challenged the skeptics out there to try to decide what animal it could have been based on these clues. It was a sound like steps. There were individual movements. I had a good view of the terrain with 40 plus minutes of night vision and I saw nothing big moving that close to me. I was next to the tree and was hiding in a bush. There were some low briar patches around the sounds were very close. I definitely heard something but didn't see anything. And it wasn't a scurry. It was a sound that would stop and start. This was in North Texas.